Hi everyone, today we're going to a corner of Scotland I've never been to before, the Scottish Borders. And you and I are going to catch a train I've never been on before, and that's the Borders Railway, which operates from here, Edinburgh Waverley, to the town of Tweedbank. Now the train's due in a couple of minutes, I'll see you when we're on board. So why does the railway stop at Tweedbank of all places? Well, there's not much happening here in Tweedbank. It's kind of halfway between Gala Shields and Melrose, which are two sizable towns. Um, back in the 1960s, the UK government decided to look at British Rail, and instead of looking at it as one single entity, looked at each individual line and decided, yep, that one makes money, we'll keep that one. That one doesn't keep money, I'll make money, we'll get rid of that, we'll scrap that, we'll scrap that and hundreds of lines around the UK were scrapped, and this is one of them. Now unfortunately, up until that point, the main lines which were making money subsidised these uh, quieter lines, which were important because they were a vital lifeline to the local communities. But the, the government at the time didn't see it that way. Everyone's buying cars, you don't need trains to these quiet places, and the uh, local community started to suffer. So this branch line closed in 1969, and from the following day, people campaigned to get it reopened. Now, I had to write this down because I knew I'd forget. Yes, 2015 it finally reopened and it has exceeded all expectations. And there is talk, there is talk about extending the line along the original route all the way to Carlisle, which would make it quite a, a picturesque and scenic line. Whether it would make money or not, who knows. Anyway, I'm on a cycleway at the moment getting away from that construction site and once we're down at the river I'll tell you a little story <clears throat> I think I just saw it a fly. Um, a few years ago, Lonely Planet Guide described the Borders region of Scotland as the dullest area of the United Kingdom. And that caused outrage, mainly by the good people of the Scottish Borders, you understand. Uh, they removed that comment after a couple of editions, uh, not because of public pressure from the Scottish Borders, but I think they found somewhere duller. With all due respect to this area, this is not the sort of place you would come to, go out of your way to come to unless you're into fly fishing, hill walking, and looking at really old ruins. But that is exactly what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna go and see Melrose Abbey, which for a ruin is pretty spectacular.
Here in the Scottish borders, you are deep in rugby territory. Okay, they play football, also known as soccer, with their own ball, but here it's rugby, it's in their blood. If you're thinking, come on Scott, show us some 14th century monastic ruins. Well, today's your lucky day because we've got these. Melrose Abbey. Melrose Abbey is the number one attraction in the Scottish borders. So I might actually come back one day and explore it in depth, just to prove that the borders are not the most dull or even the second dullest place in the United Kingdom. Okay, I'm a bit off the beaten track at the moment. I'm looking for St. Dunstan's Well. Where is St. Dunstan's Well? Probably already left it. According to the map, it's down here somewhere. No sign of St. Dunstan or his well yet, but I have come across something quite curious. That stone wall there is part of the original railway line. So if they ever do extend that line from Tweed Bank down to Carlisle, this is where it will pass through. All of the trees around here are relatively young, maybe 20 or 30 years old. Then you get three very, very old trees here, just where St Dunstan's Well should be. And there's absolutely no sign of it. I've clambered over this fence, I've gone down into the grassy bit here. No sign of this old well. Hmm, I wonder if St Dunstan knows that his well's missing. Anyway, that was an epic failure. Let's keep moving. Okay, having exhausted the attractions of Melrose, it's time to head back to Tweed Bank Station, but not before we do something. Here in the UK, we have Ordnance Survey Maps, and they are very detailed maps. And just up here, there are things listed as towers. And I'm curious to know what they are. Let's go and explore them together. Towers. This looks like private property. Well, I think that's one of the towers behind me, and it's a ruin. The main building here has got a tower, but it's all on private property, so I'm fortunate I'm not going to hang around. What a curious thing to find. Well, guys, that was the Borders Railway and the town of Melrose. Don't ever say I never give you value for money. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching this video on my inaugural trip on the Borders Railway and also my first ever visit to Melrose. I'll be back one day, don't know when. Anyway, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Tweed Bank Station, that way. No train yet.